So this is part two of the installation of the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth update. In the original video, we showed you the parts and the uh, cost of the parts and then the preparation of the parts for the installation. This video is going to show the installation of the parts into the Mac Pro. Flip up the lever, remove the side panel. PCIe card with the antenna on it first. And uh, so that goes back in here. I'm um, going to take this bracket cover off. And then, so I already have this, I'm going to try to work it through like this. Okay, and so now I have this long antenna lead that needs to come all the way down into here. Uh, the next part, I'm going to have to remove this processor tray so I can get to the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules. So over here on the left side is the original Wi-Fi module. The Wi-Fi antennas are over here. And on the right side is the original Bluetooth module in the internal Bluetooth antenna. And then this is where the Bluetooth uh, plugs into the uh, back plane for the USB connection, okay? Now, a lot of uh, the guides will show you taking this Bluetooth module out, but there's really no reason to. Uh, I'm not going to use this antenna. This is normally where you'd run that extension over and connect into this antenna cable, so you can use the Bluetooth antenna, but I'm not going to use it. I have my external antenna. So I'm just going to leave this as a good place for this antenna to be stuck. And I'll leave this card in here. As soon as I unplug this, it's going to be out of service. Didn't actually mean to take the cable out of the module itself. I'm going to put it back in there. Don't know why, just in case I ever... I want to go back to that original Bluetooth module. I'll need that cable, and if I don't leave it in here, I'll never know where it went. So I'm just going to leave it just kind of hanging there. I'm going to leave the Bluetooth antenna, internal antenna, where it is right now. And, uh, of course, this is where our wire is going to plug into. Uh, I have to remove the existing Wi-Fi module. So there are two screws. That was easy. It was almost loose. One out. I'm going to save these. I'll need one of these two screws to tie back in the new Bluetooth module. Before I pull it out, I'm just going to take a, a pair of tweezers. I'm going to grab these connectors. I'm sure you can't see that, but I'm get my tweezer underneath there and pull these antenna cables off. One's off. I actually should have done that before unscrewing it and I wouldn't have to hold it down like this. And the other one's off. Now I go ahead and slide out this Bluetooth module. There it is. Okay, now these connectors are labeled one, three, and then down under here is a number two. And number two wasn't used by the previous card, but it, it has a little plastic sleeve on it. I'm going to pull that plastic sleeve off and use it. Now, some people tell you to take this processor cage out in order to do this modification. Uh, you don't need to do that. Uh, you can. It might make it a little easier to get to these wires. There's actually a little clip under here that these wires are under. And if you take them out of that clip, then you get a little extra length and you can work with them a lot better. And so I'm going to do that. There's quite a bit of 
work to uh, remove that cage and put it back in. And there, we've got a little bit of wires. Now the first time I did this, I tried to put the wires back into this little clip back here. And that didn't work so well. Uh, I think where they where they go on the card and everything, it, uh, it just didn't uh, didn't go back into that clip very well. It kind of put stress on the wires. It worried me. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look for a, a nice way to route this uh, cable down into here. Uh, we have plenty of cable length, so I'm going to take kind of a long path. I'm going to keep it where it's out of the way of the PCI cards and down in through here. And in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this graphics card. And I almost forgot this little latch here. I have to pull that little latch to let the PCI card go. So there's my old trusty GTX 760, which uh, won't be good for Monterey. Uh, with that gone, I can bring this cable right down through here. there. Pull it through. What I think I want to do is I want to route it under this card and around, so I'm going to pull this guy back out and route it right under here and over. Yeah, right through that slot. That'll work. Back in. There we go. Got everything where it's supposed to be. Cards plugged in there. The wire is right through the slot where I want it. It's ready to go in. Okay, there we go. And uh, we'll just pull this through. And that'll keep this wire down to where it's not going to block off the PCI slots for when I want to plug something in. Just keep it out of the way there. Now there is a clip over here, too, that I can, uh, where the existing Bluetooth antenna is, might as well use that. I'll just clip it in here and... Take the Apple Watch off, it doesn't work very well in here. There we go. Push it back this way a little bit. Put a little extra slack back in there and we can pull it if we need to. And then I'll route it under here. Now this will just come over here and be ready to uh, put on with the card. All right, let's do antenna connections. So here's the new card, and here is my cheat sheet. So antenna three, these are marked. Uh, like for example, this one's three. That'll go on the top one. Antenna one will go on the next one. This Bluetooth antenna will go on the third one, and antenna two will go on the bottom. Put that right there, and this is the, the kind of the hard part. I'm gonna roll my sleeves up and get in here because it's hard to uh, reach in here and do this work and everything. There's no way that you're going to be able to watch me do this. Anyway, I'll probably cuss a little bit. I'll mute that if I do. But again, these connectors are. A little fidgety. You have to get them lined up just right. You have to rock them a little bit. Uh, when they when they click, you know it. And if you hadn't felt a good, solid, satisfying click, you probably don't have it. That one clicked in. So you can rotate it. It doesn't come off. So that's good. So i got three on the top. The next one I want is number one, which is here. That's the next one down.
There we go. Did you hear that click? It clicked in well. Now the Bluetooth goes there and number two goes on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and do number two. See, if you pull these out of the clip, they're not too hard to get to. Line it up just right, rock a little bit, try some different angles, try to get that cable around so it'll go just flat on there. Okay, so here's where things went bad. The antenna connectors seemed to be on at first, but as I tried to work the wires back in and turn the card over and make it fit right, uh, one of them kept popping off. And I kept putting it back on, it would pop off, I'd put it back on and pop off. And uh, eventually it became clear that the connector on the card was damaged. And it wasn't going to work and I wasn't able to fix it. So I bought another card, waited a week for it to come in, another $25. Tried to put it in and um, it, it just didn't go well from there. So I was only able to get two of the Wi-Fi antennas and one of the Bluetooth antennas connected. So I thought, what the heck, let's see if it works with two antennas. And uh, so I put the little sleeve that came off of the spare antenna cable back on and just continued the installation with only two of the Wi-Fi antennas connected. Installing the Broadcom module into the mini PCIe slot adapter card. There it goes. Now taking the two screws that came with the adapter card and running them through the back of the adapter card into the Broadcom modules to uh, fasten the Broadcom module to the adapter. And I'm still amazed at uh, how great magnetic screwdrivers are. Aren't they great? So now the trick is to turn the card over because that's the way that it fits into the back plane. And so you have to twist the antenna wires around and that's not too big of a problem, but then you have to work them back into the, under the processor tray to the left. And so I'm, I'm very carefully moving the card back, moving the wires back in under the uh, processor tray without putting too much force on the wires and taking any chance that they're gonna pop off of the Broadcom module. I really don't want any of those wires to pop off and then I have to take this back apart again and reconnect the antenna wires. And I've already been through that a few times. So I'm just being really, really careful here to, to push those wires back in there gently, wiggle them in, get them to work in there, make sure there's no stress on them. And then uh, come around to the other side here so I can reach it a little better and also see it a little better. Okay, we got it back far enough, and now I can line it up with the slot. And there it goes. Okay, now it won't lay flat because remember that last antenna lead that I couldn't get to stay on the card? Well, it's right down underneath here. So for this to lay flat, I'm going to take the screwdriver and get this extra antenna lead out from under it. And now if you remember the two screws that came out of the original Wi-Fi module, I'll use one of those to fasten the adapter down to the back plane. Now 
this is the uh, USB communication from the Bluetooth module to the backplane. This is going to plug in to right where the old Bluetooth module plugged into the backplane. So at this point we're done. We have the external antenna up in the, the card slot. You can see just at the top right of the picture. Uh, we have our Broadcom module installed into the adapter card, the adapter card installed into the computer. We have two of the three internal Wi-Fi antenna leads connected on there. And the USB cable run from the adapter card over to the uh, backplane space where the old Bluetooth card uh, went in there. So now it's just a matter of getting the wires uh, out of the way. Want to make sure that they're not going to stick out and either catch on the processor tray or get smashed by the processor tray coming in here and uh, cause a problem there. So I want to tuck them back in under the uh, processor cage where they'll be, uh, be nice and safe back in there. Now to put the processor tray back in place. Turns out it will only go in if both of the levers are pulled up and I have one of them down, so I have to pop that other lever up and there it goes in. And push both levers at the same time to make it go in. Install the door and we're ready to start up and see what we have. So in the end, how did it work with only two of the internal Wi-Fi antennas? Pretty well. Um, honestly, I, I can't tell the difference. Uh, it works on AC Wi-Fi and the signal strength is good. I can use it anywhere in the house. I have a good router, so that helps. But I can use a computer anywhere in the house and it, uh, you know, it, it works fine. So I'm not really sure why we needed three Wi-Fi antennas, but um, I can't tell the difference. Uh, the Bluetooth works well. Uh, the range of this Bluetooth antenna probably could be better. Uh, I can put my AirPods in, the watch unlock, everything works fine. But uh, you know, I can't go everywhere in the house with the AirPods on. I can go maybe 20 feet away and they start to cut out. Or if I'm, you know, on the other side of a wall or something, maybe it'll, it'll cut out. What I can do, though, is if I'm in a Teams meeting, I can put my AirPods on. I can walk around and uh, get up and walk, look out the window or something like that and not have to be bound to my desk all the time like, uh, you know, using a pair of wired headphones would be. So in the end, uh, it was a lot of work. It's a difficult update. Um, I couldn't fault anybody that wants to do the PCIe card method, as that would be a lot easier to do. Uh, but I'm happy that I've, I have that card slot to be able to use for something else, and that uh, uh, I think it works well. So thank you for watching.